everybody, great to have you with us. Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, John Flaherty. Is there, guys, is there anything better than summer camp? Listen, some summer camps are up in the air, but we know, Flash, that the Yankees are coming up with a summer camp. Major League Baseball is coming up with a summer camp, and that feels good. It does feel good. I was never able to go to a summer camp, Bob, because I was always playing baseball, but these Yankee players now coming to spring training part two is going to be called summer camp. I'm all for it. Can't wait to see them back at the stadium. You know, we're excited about it. We're going to be in studio, obviously, covering a lot of this over the coming weeks on the Yes Network. And Jack, I want to ask you, yesterday, Brian Cashman had a conference call uh, with reporters. What are some of the bullet points that stood out to you? Yeah, I thought that Cashman struck a hopeful tone during this conference call, Bob. A couple of things that he brought up. As of now, as of the time that we are taping this, no Yankee players have opted out of the 2020 season. He gave injury updates. He said he's optimistic that Aaron Judge will be ready for opening day. They think they'll have Stanton as a DH for opening day, but they want to wait a little bit on the outfield call until they see him go through some reps. Aaron Hicks, back from Tommy John surgery, same thing with him. They believe he'll be ready, but they want to see if he's in game condition and ready to go. And they said they believe James Paxton is ready for game action. So at a dark, dark time, if you're looking for some silver linings from a Yankee perspective, they're going to have all those players back. I also thought it was interesting when someone asked Cashman, do you think you can get a 60-game season in? He said, that's Major League Baseball's intent. We're about to find out. All positive news there with all the injury updates, but until the manager Aaron Boone and Brian Cashman can get eyes on these guys out on the field going through their workouts, you're not really going to know. And, you know, I think about Garrett Cole and how stretched out he's going to be. Uh, that's going to be something to pay attention to. But I was also thinking about the players who have all this excitement to get back to playing baseball. But I think that the new reality is going to hit very quickly on the testing protocols and what it's going to take to get into the stadium and go through your new routine. I think they're all probably curious. Uh, they all probably want to make sure that everybody is healthy and safe. But the new reality is going to look different, and there's going to be a transition the first couple of days on how do I conduct myself in the clubhouse with my teammates and out on the field. You know, one thing I was going to say before, um, Jack, we talk about this a lot, how certain points of a regular 162-game season, you kind of have those mile markers along the way, litmus tests, whatever. Could be a Red Sox game in May, an Astros game in May, that kind of thing. Don't you feel like everything that the world and Major League Baseball right now is going through is these players on all teams get ready to ramp up this coming weekend, including the Yankees, like every day has one of those mile markers that you've got to get through, right? Got to get through healthy, not only COVID free, but then your entire body. And with the Yankees coming off a lot of injuries, as you mentioned, rested up, that's going to be doubly important. It absolutely is. And Cashman was asked about that, about the challenges that he faces. And some of the questions were about roster management. And he said, I think the biggest challenge is just handling what is going on with this pandemic. He brought up an example what happens if your starting pitcher shows up on any given day and that's the day where his temperature is 100.7? Well, you have to be able to scramble and be able to have somebody ready. But the more I thought about that, not equating the virus with a migraine or a queasy stomach, but a starting pitcher has shown up sick before and teams are, always have somebody ready. That's the short-term answer. The long-term answer is if your pitcher shows up in that situation, then people are going to have to be quarantined. You're going to have to get them tested. I think Flash hinted at this before, and, and I totally agree. There is going to be something, and this is not an exaggeration, every five minutes that a player hasn't experienced before that he is going to experience. It's collecting your own equipment. It's putting your helmet into the same cubby hole every time. You can't put your sweaty helmet into a different box in the dugout where another player's helmet was supposed to be. That's not what this is all about. I read that operations manual. It's more than 100 pages. It's voluminous in the amount of rules that everyone has to follow to make this work. Flash, how do you think that impacts the players? Because I think baseball players with their routine during a season are some of the most disciplined people around especially when they're at the stadium is that going to be an easy thing for these players to do 
but I don't, it's definitely not going to be easy. It's going to be different from anything that they've ever, ever experienced before, obviously, with what we're going through. But I mentioned before, I think they're all probably intrigued when they show up at Yankee Stadium the next couple of days. Uh, they go through everything they have to go through with testing and making sure that they're healthy coming in. And then it's going to be, what's my new routine, to your point, Bob, right? It, it might be players showing up in the visitors clubhouse that they've never been in before. And they're going to be all spread out. They're going to be players in the auxiliary clubhouse where I spent some time for old timers day. They're going to be players playing catch in the great hall. I mean, these are all things that are, that are going to be obviously very different, but to your point, baseball players get on their own individual routine very quickly. So I, I don't expect that to be much of a problem as they move forward in the next five, six, seven days. And then you're going to get to the point, are we going to have games? Are we going to have inner squads? What's that going to look like? So it's going to change every day to Jack's point on, on who's available, what the routine is that day, and what do I have to do as a player to make sure I'm ready and healthy and keep, keeping my teammates healthy. Guys, let me just pivot to one final topic, uh, kind of off topic of what we're talking about. What are you most looking forward to as the game now? And I think all sports are doing this evolves given what's going on. I mean, I, I think Jack of how we're going to change as broadcasters, how we're going to do it, how we get more creative in bringing games to Yankees fans on the yes network. Those are some of the things that, that I'm looking forward to. How creative can we get? I think we can get very creative. We're, we're going to hopefully raise the bar pretty high. And I'm looking forward to the intimacy of these games. I've had opportunities to be in that third base camera well, doing the clubhouse reporter job. And from that vantage point, you see things on the field that you would never see in the press box. I think in this setting, with no fans in the stands, I think we're going to hear and see some interaction that we haven't seen in the past. And I very much look forward to being able to see some of that inside baseball stuff that might have been drowned out in the past by 50,000 fans screaming. You know, Bob, we were just talking about what the players are going to have to go through and how different it's going to feel and it's going to look. And I think everybody here at the Yes Network in our industry is going to go into it with the same attitude. Day by day, where are the opportunities? What can we do? We have so many smart people that we work with, you know, they're going to see something on day one and say, we could, we could take advantage of that and bring something different to the fans who are really craving baseball. So as the players are going through this, what's our new normal? I think everybody at the Yes Network is going to be doing the same thing and, and just looking for opportunities to do something different and maybe a little better. Well, I think it's fair to say the three of us, along with every Yankees fan and follower of the Yes Network, is re-energized right now with baseball about to come back and really start heating up. So for now, we'll sign off, but tell everybody wall-to-wall -wall coverage on the Yes Network when the Yankees begin their practices heading towards the abbreviated 2020 season. We'll see you. I hope you enjoy Yes Network's summer camp.